Hello Lockport Township High School District 205 parents and students. My name is Bob McBride. I'm the very proud superintendent of Lockport Township High School District 205. And this video is designed to help you understand where we've been and where we're going in the next couple of weeks. I'm coming to you from my home office, inside my home, where like many of you, I am observing Governor Pritzker's order to stay at home during this current crisis. As I start this video, I'd like to acknowledge success. It has been a successful week of e-learning, and that success is due in no short part to our Board of Education, our teachers, all of the leaders in our district, really all of our employees, our union, our students, and you, their parents. I know that you're doing your job at home, and we are certainly trying to do our job here at school. Last Friday, I had a video conference with about a dozen students to find out how e-learning is going for them. And one of the students said something that I thought was very important to share. She said, teachers are really on top of their work, but even more important, they are checking in on us. And that's what we're really trying to do in these days is stay connected to our students. I also want to acknowledge that we have done our level best to provide meals to uh, those students who need them. We've also tried to maintain tech support to any student who needs that as well. I also want to acknowledge uh, uncertainty. I know very well that there are so many events in the spring like graduation, prom, classes, athletic con contests, uh, performances that are, that are in doubt. None of us wants to cancel prematurely an event that might mean so much to so many. So I would ask you to continue checking our website, looking for our communications, and week by week, hour by hour, we will update you as things change and we know more. Thank you for your patience. On Monday, March 23rd, we plan to begin wrapping up our emergency e-learning. I've asked our teachers to really communicate with their students, pull in any um, opportunity students had to improve their grade, wrap up any of the kind of uh, lessons or experiences that they offered during our emergency e-learning. So that by Friday, March 27th, we all can take a break and take a uh, spring break as planned, whether that's virtual or just in our neighborhoods or just in our, our homes. This week, we are going to be planning in the case that the school closure lasts longer than we think. Governor Pritzker right now is telling us that April 8th will be the last day of these school closures. Of course, it is my sincere hope that we are back in school on April 8th. But also as superintendent, I want to assure you that we are planning to launch a virtual high school should this closure last longer. We want to be in a position in April where we can provide students with new content, new skills, new material, provide assessments so students can online begin earning grades and moving forward. We're going to do that planning this week and we hope to provide something for you that is uh, robust, that is meaningful for your students. So we're planning right now to maybe make a transition from e-learning to virtual learning. Throughout the entire process, we will continue communicating with you through videos, through email, text messages, but I would encourage all parents to frequently visit our website. That is the place where we have put all of our information about everything related to learning, to meals, to tax support, to school closure. So please continue visiting lths.org. During this time, my greatest wish for you is health. I hope that you stay healthy, our community stays healthy, our students stay healthy, our staff stays healthy, my family stays healthy, your family stays healthy. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support during times of uncertainty. Thank you for supporting our efforts to continue learning at home, and we will continue to do that and be the solid community of porters that we've always been. Thank you so much for the opportunity to lead our school district. And again, please stay healthy through this crisis. Thank you so much.